guys good afternoon and welcome back to my channel so today I have got a really weird video for you I have my Christmas food shop but done in um, two different videos I've got a big shop I did with Carl up in Dunn stores the night before my mother arrived up and my mom said please leave stuff because I want to go out to the shops I want the atmosphere I want everything so I said okay so myself and Carl did a big shop in Dunn's Hayley film that for me so that is going up first and then myself and my mum went to Little and Super Value on Friday night and then on Saturday yeah and then on Saturday today we went over to Super Value so the Little Super Value in Aldi is only a small shop we literally were just walking around because we had the majority of the big shop done now I'm going to address this in this this is myself and Tony were messing and I picked up my phone beeped and he went to knock my phone out of my hand because he hates me on the phone um, and he his nail on his paw cut my chin and I went down and Kerry was here she put iodine on it that's why it's um that colour but uh, yeah it was very bad it kept bleeding but look it's alright it's actually not sore anymore it's stung like a, a biddy but anyway, so I'm actually going to upload these in two uh, sections. I've been editing the Duns one this morning. That will go up. And then about two hours after that will go up, the rest of the food shop will go up. Because I'm actually running out. Here's one for you. I'm running out of time because I had to take a couple of days off because of crap that was going on in work. And I couldn't edit. And I couldn't video. There was so much going on that I, I just had to stop. But now we're back in. So I've got two food shops coming up for you i also have a vlog with myself and kerry so that's it happy days so today you're going to get two videos we'll see how they go hello everyone i am taking over again because my mummy is very busy and i'm going to be showing you a shop she did with carl actually they went up to dunn store at around midnight 11 p.m because they were open late till like 2 a.m and they did you know what i don't know if you have a decent shop this isn't right now my mum's actually out getting like the turkey and ham for christmas and obviously this is it's just kind of like the picky bits for christmas kind of and stuff that we also needed before christmas and after christmas so yeah uh salted popcorn my mum got two of these because we eat these by the bucket they are so lovely and salty in a yeah but i actually only like popcorn if it's bagged i don't really like what's it called the ones you put in the microwave we then got one two three four my waddies and this one's a uh, two liter and we got these because my brother drinks these by about the gallon he has a big two liter like jug water jug so that's that we got some household towels so kitchen tissue kitchen towel that's not what we call it kitchen roll and there is three in here yeah because christmas it's gonna get messy okay moving on we got these goose fat irish roast potatoes and they look like that's the big piece of goose fat there only cooked in 30 minutes we're probably gonna put these in the air fryer to get them quite you know crispy and even though these boys look a wee bit crispy already. And then we got some creamy mashed Irish potato. Huh. So of six. And this the other one here. So of five. So that would be enough for the five of us. And yeah. Absolutely delish. We then got two things of 12 big fresh Irish eggs. I think these are free range. Yeah. Free range eggs there. Um. For Christmas, I don't know how many, I think it was quite common in Ireland to do a big Irish fry up. But we, my family does most, either Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. So we got enough eggs for that. My mum then got a sweet and indulgent chocolate profiteroles. This is my mum's favourite dessert. And that's that there. They are covered in chocolate. You can't even see the profiterole. And yeah, that's that. She then got, this is my grandma's favourite, creamy and delicious fruit cocktail trifle, truffles, trifles. 
This is mixed fruit jelly and fruit cocktail lid with ladyfingers. That's what I'm going to take that as. The vanilla custard and whipped cream. And that's what that looks like. Oh, bit out of focus, but it's okay. So yeah, if you got two of them, there is two in each packet. My mum then got a chef, 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 tomato ketchup. Um, this is mine, my mum's favourite. My brother is a strictly Heinz boy, but chef, vinegary, the way to go. Going to the Weans, we have an Irish crab cocktail. And a light Irish made mayonnaise with a hint of lemon. And that's what that looks like there. It's kind of hard to see. But again, this would be like Christmas Eve or late Christmas Day, like Christmas Day tea. And we would just have that with like some crackers. Now this I'm very interested in about. This is Galaxy Digestives Orange. Now obviously Digestives, household classic, but I've never, it's obviously new. But that looks absolutely delicious. And then my mum and Carl, my brother's favourite. We have two Terry's Orange. And yeah, they're just Terry's Orange. And she got two of them. So yeah, delish. She then each got us a Pringles, which is something she doesn't do very often. This one is sour cream and onion. Scan my barcode, help a bro. Okay. That's my mum's, I think. I got a... Uh, original slash ready salted. He doesn't have a weird barcode on him. This is either my sister's or my mum's cheese and onion. And this one is my brother's salted vinegar. The only ones I know whose is whose is salt and vinegar and ready salted. I don't, either one of them is my mum's and one of them is my sister's or one of them is my sister's and one of them is my mum's. She also got two Ritz crackers. They're just Ritz. I just love how salty these are. If you can't tell, I love a bit of salt. She got two of these. There's another one down there somewhere. I'm just going to do these big boys. She got a big pack of a party box of King Crisps. Those are my grandma's favourite. And again, I'm not fussy with crisps. And I don't think anyone else is. So that's good. Like enough for all of us. Cheese and onion. And yeah. She then got two boxes of Kellogg's Choco Puffs. Choco Pops. Uh, chocos and this is like the shells and that's my brother's favorite cereal right now at least it could change it could change very soon okay where do we go to next okay we'll go here this is a charl charlville selected red cheddar made with irish milk i don't realize until i was filming one of these for my mom how much it says it's made with like irish ingredients and thinking of it, I do think it's quite important for Irish people that it's made with Irish ingredients. She got two of these. And my brother will grate these. And they will be put aside for whatever we decide to eat. And sometimes if we're having like crackers and cheese, we'll just slice it, you know. So one of these will probably end up grated and one of them will just end up on like a charcuterie board. She then got a mix of seedless grapes, class one. And they are the red and green, obviously. I'm a big fan of the green. Same way I like green apples. I like that they're a bit bitter, I think. I don't know if that's correct. But yeah, so you only got one pack of these. Because my sister and I are going to do that thing where you eat grapes under the table on New Year. But obviously, these won't last that long. But they're also good to have with cheese and stuff. She then got my sister and I this, this chocolate caramel brownie mocha. And I'm actually very excited to try this how much caffeine is in this i'm very interested about because when i see like chocolate favorite coffee i'm like automatically like there's not a lot of caffeine in this it's like hot chocolate so yeah that's cafe she then got this i don't think there's a label on this oh no there is and this is fermented traditional turnover now, I don't know if I can say what this is called. If not, I'm going to ask my brother to bleep it. But this is what we call heroin bread. Because it is so addictive. Addicting. Addictive? It is so addictive. And the slices, as you can probably tell, are massive. So yeah, that is a fan favourite. We then have two Connacht Gold butters. Because again, even with just me, my brother and my mum, we go to a lot of butter and now my sister... And my grandma are coming up. We go to enough butter. 
Where to go to next? We'll go to these because this is like party food, if you know what I mean. Oh, I'm just going to put that around me. She got some fresh berries. Oh, sorry, guys. Some fresh berries, which look delectable. Fresh cherries, which again look really deep. Like the colour is really deep in them. And this again is class one. The battery is low, so I'm trying to go as quick without going too quick. She got some Moroccan style top hummus. Again, to go with the crackers and cheese and all that. I'm not a big fan of hummus. My sister and my mama, I think my grandma doesn't mind it. And this is hummus topped with butternut squash, dried apricots, caramelised onion and spices. I will give it a try though. She got this absolute mammoth of strawberries. Look, look at that. Jesus. I love a bit of strawberry though. Again, this will probably be used Christmas Day or Christmas Eve breakfast. Maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Ooh, look at this. She then got a French recollet. And here it has where it's from, the milk that's used. And the producer. It is John Piddy. Pedin. So yeah. That actually looks delicious. As you can see, it's big enough, like... Oh, sorry. Look at that. Delish. I'm going to move that over there. We then have a charcuterie board. With cheese, there is coppa, salami extra, salami Milano. All made using pork from the EU and Italian. Berocconio cheese. And this would be like tea, I think, Christmas. Because I think we're planning to have dinner quite early on Christmas Day. So that would be like when we're playing board games and stuff. We then have some bananas because my grandma is coming up. And she eats a banana every day. Gets that potassium in. And then I didn't almost didn't see this. My mum also got some original bagels made with sourdough, Irish made. Um, yeah, pre-sliced, thank God, because I can never cut a bagel. And yeah, those look super soft, actually. Are they soft? Ooh, nice. Okay, I'm going to move over to the next section of food. Okay, guys, so we have some mini pink and white marshmallows. My sister is a big fan of hot chocolate. Probably the only one in the house who really drinks it a lot. And she loves marshmallows. I personally cannot stand them. My brother got two classic waffles. Flour. My mum then got pitted black cherries in a can. Two strawberries in a can. And fruit juice. The cherries are in a light syrup. I sure she got three. No, four. Sorry. Four strawberries in fruit juice. And then she got two whole mandarin segments in light syrup because my grandma really likes these actually. And again, this is all for her flan that she makes every single Christmas. Again, not something I'm a big fan of, but my mum loves it and it's probably her favourite dessert of all time. We then have a chocolate biscuit pudding. Now, no one really in my family, I think apart from my grandma, likes Christmas cake. Oh, sorry. So this is kind of our medium because it looks like Christmas cake. It just is like a biscuit cake. So it's not Christmas cake. Moving over here. We have five Black Forest brownie slices. I think these look just stunning. I'll be honest. I just think they look really pretty. These are absolutely stunning. They actually remind me of what is it an American thing? Bark, bark chocolate? I don't know. But they look delish. And these are for my grandma. These are five ice. It's literally... Um, Christmas cake but again no one in my family really eats it and then my mum got a salted caramel biscuit bar elite special moments me and my brother devour these they are absolutely delicious they're very lush you really need them with like a cup of tea a glass of milk or like coffee or something because they are extremely chocolatey then we have the same ones but just chocolate and no salted caramel this is the elite special moments chocolate biscuit bars in a pack again and yeah, just delicious. Now moving swiftly over, my mum got some brie. As I've mentioned before, I've been eating brie since. I can't even remember. It's always been a favourite cheese of mine. My mum then got two fully loaded deep dish, the original one from Chicago Town. She got two four cheeses and then two pepperoni. These are for my brother for when we're all like travelling and going back home after Christmas because these can be freezed. And then my brother will just have something in the house. 
My mum then also got fruity chicken curry deli filler, which looks really vibrant and delicious. My mum actually loves these on a toasty. So yeah, and it will last a wee bit after Christmas, which is important. And then of course, we have some chunky oven chips. Because again, mainly for my brother. And also maybe on Christmas, who knows. Um, they're just a classic. And these are Maris Piper potatoes. If you know your potatoes, that's the type of potato it is. Yeah, and that only takes 25 minutes. What a legend. Alright guys, so that is the shop. I hope it's everything. Um, I have no idea. I'll see you guys when I see you guys next.